Rick Bush, Rodney, and a couple other Americans were trying to say that North Korea hadn't paid any payments of gold or metal. Because North Korea is my is one of my factory locations, and was my factory location since about a long time ago. Anyway, they had paid money in gold to me, basically, so I would have money in cash. They were going; they're more than willing to support me and support me for as long as I was alive. And they knew me, and they loved me, and they cared about me a great deal. Anyway, somewhere around 1970, 1950 or so, um, well, actually, it started out, like I say, actually in 1920, when, when um, after, the, after great prosperity and everything else, um, you know, they had done my inventions and built my inventions, and they were doing very well for themselves and very happy, and they had decided to support me and help me. Anyway, Nixon and Jimmy Carter and a couple of other people went ahead and wanted to turn this around into where they would be rich. So they were taking stuff and then they came to me saying that North Korea hadn't paid them or hadn't paid me. And I was like, what? Anyway, so I went there and I talked to them and dealt with them. And basically this became epic space as well. Um, anyway, big, big things happen, basically. And... Personally, I could have ordered the death of the whole island. And they might have actually killed themselves just, just to save face as far as, their, as far as their whole race. But I had a doubt, and we went, and we discovered the truth. And the truth was, of course, that some 1940s to 1950s to 1960s people had thought that they could just lie to a ruler of the planet as well as the ruler of 80 galaxies. And then they would basically try and lie to me and cover, cover it up and save face. But they couldn't really do that because of the fact that I was the epic creator of 80 galaxies and of particles. Believe it or not, like I say, every single particle here, the particles that make up this, the actual makeup of this actually it goes, what I am and who I am actually goes into the makeup of why this is so solid. And I actually did explain this to, to some other to some other people, I said, what I am, who I am, basically is the life form that invented how to, it goes beyond that. I, a long, long time ago, we didn't have so much metal, so much material, so many dense things in the universe. I figured out how to make these particles and make them more dense. It goes beyond, what I am and who I am goes beyond just knowing, knowing, um, being ruler, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a long, long time ago, we didn't have dense matter in the universe or whatever. I figured out how to make matter more dense, to make it into what is this material here. We had a density problem, and I figured out how to change that. So, basically, the, the metal, the material everything about that, like denser and denser items. <clears throat> I figured that out. So anyway, and then I built a bunch of planets, a bunch of suns, and all that other stuff, and it led to the more building, the more inventing. So I wasn't just the creator of biological whatever. I was also the one that figured out how to make more dense matter. Anyway, that was disputed, of course, and lots of other ones disputed it. So Anyway, and basically it doesn't really even matter. It's just that pretty much I changed existence as a whole. And then Rodney and about, you know, probably about 36 or a couple thousand other people were like, no, no, that's not true. We changed it. We did this. We invented this. We have a right to it. Anyway, um, basically they were trying to cover up for all the death that they had actually done in the past and how they had basically gone from one girl to another girl to another girl to another planet to another planet just basically killing and raping and destroying and they were just basically destroying everything you know they just basically walked into all this it's like walking into a room of golden hot women and and just basically having your way with them and then saying okay well i've had my way that's it boom 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 and killing them and because it's not really theirs Anyway, so pretty much that about sums up what Richard Nixon, John McCain, Rodney Briley, and a bunch of other people did. You know, they had walked into basically what is my fortune, what is my money, what is my existence, and just figured that, you know, 
they can they could just take over, keep the power, keep the control, and then that would lead to their immortality and everything else. And they lived for a couple thousand years probably on this whole thing because I'm like, you know what? I'll tell you what, go ahead, live, do whatever you want, and then when you're done, we'll see what you've done and we'll deal with it then. And their idea was basically that, oh, well, you know, that means we have 45 years to basically stop him or a thousand years and all we got to do is kill him. It's like, yes, well, along that way, you killed so many other, uh, other life forms that pretty much, you know, it's like, it became ridiculous, you know, but they did what they did. And I, sh you know, they, they, they came up with this whole idea, whatever, you know, and, and it came down to basically, you know, pretty much. JFK, Jimmy Carter, they thought that they could do whatever they wanted and nobody would ever know about it. And so did a whole bunch of other people. And basically it got JFK and Jimmy Carter pretty much tortured for a thousand years. And there were probably about uh, 60,000 others that basically joined the whole group of people being tortured for about a thousand years. Or 120. And another race, uh, which I had created or something, basically handled it. They signed contracts, they made the deal that said that blah blah and blah blah whatever time later and then they were and then by the time they were done there is a uh, you know they were taken just like just like with just like they had agreed to and then they were tortured for thousands of years and whatever. And then they were allowed to die. And they actually agreed to it and said, "Well, yeah, but we're going to and they just figured that, that at the end of time, or, or, or as they got older, they would just eventually try and kill me or kill the race that had been, was doing it. Come to find out, of course, that they couldn't actually do that, that that race had actually existed before they did, and it actually already prearranged everything to basically be in a place and time and position where they were untouchable. Nothing could stop it. Nothing could stop what I did. Nothing could stop what they did. And these people found out the hard way. And I gave them a small out saying that if they made amends, I wouldn't torture them. I would just let them die. But, you know, once again, they had decided to just go ahead and kill more and do more. There was no end to these people's pain and destruction. They were just like, yeah, well, okay, well, you know, and they would just basically use. Anyway, so basically, there are about 60,000 people that tried to get out of it, thought they could get out of it, and then found out that the, this race and me and others like it had existed far before before them. And then like a lock, <laughs> there was no stopping it. It was it's not even Brian Briley that did it. They signed the contract, they made the deal, they agreed to it, and they did everything. And then basically, you know, and then they took the profit, they took the sex, they took the joy, they took the drugs. And then at the end of their contract, at the, at the end of their life, at the normal lifespan, not immortality. That's another reason why they want to be immortal, so they could live that much longer, so they could eventually kill me or whatever. Anyway, but no, it was only for about 40 years or 80 years, so no matter what, they could only live X amount of years, and then they would die or be killed. 80 years in, they would die no matter what. Anyway, they thought they could get around it, blah, 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 but this race had, had existed before humanity and was only loosely connected to me. So, it wasn't a deal with the devil, it was a deal with Lucifer, and it was actually because they had already messed up so much, and I was very upset with them. So, it wasn't even with me, really, exactly. It was kind of. Anyway, though, so, they did it, and like a time lock, it clicked into place and they were fried and killed and hurt and basically tried to get out of it and couldn't. And that was that. End of the story. Five million years in or so, they died. <laughs>